Hello guys. So I am starting with Django. Basically, Django is a web framework in Python. We use Django to create web applications in Python. The demand for Django is growing day by day. Many applications are using Django, which we use in our day-to-day -day life. If you look to Instagram or uh, I can say uh, Dropbox, YouTube, they all are using Django. So let's begin with Django. Okay, so in my first tutorial, first I would uh, create, we will create a virtual environment and in that virtual environment only we are going to create our project and whatever stuff we will going to do inside that environment. Now, it, there comes a question, what is the need of that environment? Yeah, so friends, as uh, project as we are going to build many projects and different different projects they have different uh, environment they run on different environments like some require version a specific version of Django and then the some other require some other version of Django or any other packages related to Django. So every time we have to install versions in our local system and that will going to override the earlier version so it will become a very complex thing right to manage our different different projects so the solution for that is virtual environment we are going to create a virtual environment and virtual environment is basically like a boundary inside that boundary we are going to install all the packages everything related to that specific project that will keep our project isolated oh, from it's uh, awesome. yeah that will going to isolate our project from the other projects that will isolate the versions of the packages that we have installed inside the virtual environment from the outside okay so there are basically two simple commands to create that virtual environment Okay, so first uh, you create a directory in your system, and inside that directory, we are going to create our further Django projects and environment. So, I will show you. I'm inside this directory, okay, and let me show you what all are the things which are present inside this directory. So, you can see uh, right now it is empty. So our first step is creating a virtual environment. Okay, so the command for that is Python m then uh, v e m v and then the name of the environment. So here dash m it denotes module. Python consists of when we install Python in our local system, then it consists of many modules. So among those modules, VENV is also one type of a module which are, we are going to use to create a virtual environment. So this command basically means that uh, we are going to use module VENV to create an environment named EENV. We can name any name here. It is basically the environment name which we are giving. Okay. So let's say I give it E and B, you can give it anything, A, B, C, anything, okay? Any relevant name, yeah. So let's run the command. And uh, let's wait for some time because it may take some time. Yeah. So when this environment will get created, it will be empty. Yeah. So we are going to store, we are going to install packages inside it. It's just like a poly bag, you can say. Inside it, we are going to store everything. Okay. Yeah. Let's wait for some time so that it will get installed. 
as we can see the environment has got created okay so let's do a command ls you can see env a folder got created inside this file the django project okay so um, we can see uh, we can look at into it uh, as i have opened the django project and inside it env environment got env folder got created and in, inside the env there are folders include lib script and in the script there is a batch called activate okay this we are going to use it so as of now we have only created a virtual environment okay we haven't activated it if we will not going to activate it nothing is going to happen okay so till now we have only um, you can say created an environment now the second step is activating that environment so for activating it we are going to write source then the name of the environment that is env then script and then activate okay as you can see this is the path that i have shown right now to you inside env there was script and inside script there was an activate okay so if you will run that command you can see here this got activated in the upper it is written as env okay so whatever we are now going to do it will be done inside that inside this environment so friends this command source env script activate this is for windows and uh, if you want to try it on linux then the command would be source env then dash and bin activate uh, the instead of uh, script it will be inside the bin okay so as of now we have created a virtual environment okay created virtual environment first was the command as python and then the name, name of the module b e n v and then the name of the environment which you want to create second is and the second is um, to activate that environment this was to create an environment and this is to activate environment the second command is operating system specific if you are windows then you can use this command and if you are linux then you can use source then env dash bin env dash dash bin then activate okay so we have created virtual environment now we can see is there any package installed in this environment so for that there is a command called pip please basically this command is used to list what all the packages which are installed in this environment and when you will start it then initially there would be no packages which are installed because we are going to install it okay so now we will be going to install the django so for installing the django in this environment the command would be pip yeah pip uh, sorry pip install the django okay so it will going to start installing the django in this environment 
I mean the related packages also there. You can see it is now installing Vida. As all the packages are installed, so as I told you to see the list of packages which are installed, we use script trees. Okay. So now when I have written script trees, it has shown that it has installed these many packages, these many packages inside our environment. Okay, and you can see these are over it. And the, uh, it will install the latest version of Django, that is 3.0.8. And if you want any specific version, then you can then you can use it as Python as a, sorry it install the Django and then the version. Okay. Uh, as I want to install the latest version of Django, so I have written in pip install Django. As you can see, it has installed all these packages inside it. Okay, so today we have created a virtual environment, and in that virtual environment, we have created, we have installed all the packages which are required for Django. Okay, so uh, oh, now we can bring, now we can begin with. Uh, making the Django project. These two, uh, remember, virtual environment creation is required only for the first time. Later, whenever we uh, you are going to work on your project, you every time have to first run one command that is activating it. Okay, and there is one more command also that is deactivate. De Wait. Deactivate is to come out from that environment. Okay. So the first two commands that is create an environment and activate an environment. These are going to these are the two commands which we are going to use to create and activate an environment for the first time. And after that, every time whenever you work on a project, you first need to activate your environment and then start working on it. Then the third step which we have done is we have uh, we have installed the Django packages inside our environment and for that we have used the command pip install Django. Okay, and to list all the packages which are installed in our virtual environment, we use the command called pip freeze. So that's all for today. Now in our in my next video, I'll begin with the first project of Django. Okay, so for today, bye-bye.